November is Diabetes Awareness Month. More than 29 million Americans are living with diabetes. Millions more are at risk and others don't even know they have it. It's the number one cause for several life-threatening complications like heart disease. Dr. Lehman Bengura with Texas Heart and Vein Multi-Specialty Group shared how to prevent a worst case scenario. Dr. Bangira, November is Diabetes Awareness Month, and we hear that word diabetes all the time, but a lot of people I don't think really understand that this is a disease that slowly chokes the life out of you. Kind of explain what's happening in the body and how every organ can be affected when you have diabetes. With diabetes, when you have diabetes, there's a lot of uh, risk factors associated with it, especially uh, cardiovascular and peripheral vascular disease. That's because the, the the mechanism at which these disease processes happens in diabetic, it's much more aggressive and people tend to have also associated risk factors like hypertension and um, hyperlipidemia, which is high cholesterol. Yeah, in fact, diabetes is one of the number one reasons for amputations. Uh, you all can stop that from happening. Yes, yeah, so what part of our practice is uh, basically we, we have what we call limb salvage program where we know for sure um, when people have peripheral vascular disease or blockage in your arteries of your legs, there's always increased chances that that artery get progressively occluded and it can lead to ulcerations and sometimes lead to amputation. Our goal, and we know the more you amputate, there's more increased morbidity and mortality and also the cost for the medical system is a little bit high. Uh, so our goal as a practice is to prevent that from happening. Number one reason for heart disease, you know, we have someone dies every 37 seconds and oftentimes yes. they had no idea they had that heart disease. Gary, did you know what was going on inside of your body that it basically was a ticking time bomb? So on, it was at the beginning of the year, January 13th. I woke up normal time about five o'clock, uh, but immediately I started feeling a little bit of indigestion, at least like that's what I thought it was. Uh, my wife said, hey, are you sure you're going to be okay? I'm fine. And I started getting a little stubborn, which I think I guess it just comes with being a male. Um, but ultimately, she convinced me that it was time to call the ambulance. So when I arrived there, basically I had this kind of nervousness to me in terms of do I want to be treated right out there in Kingwood or did I want to be brought down to the medical center? Dr. Bangura met me in the ER room because he was the physician on, on the staff at the time, I guess. Yeah. And um, he basically explained it to me in a very calm voice, saying, this is what's going on. This is what I got to do. This is what the protocols need. And um, they took me back to the cath lab. I guess that's what it's called. I never lost consciousness. In fact, Dr. Van Gur allowed me to watch the entire procedure on a, about a 65 inch screen to my left. I felt great right afterwards. And uh, that's kind of the rest of the story and now he's my treating cardiologist. Dr. Bangura, that speaks to the importance of, because a lot of people don't know that they either have diabetes or heart disease or any of those other things that we talked about until they're in a crisis mode, yes. the importance of at least getting checked out. Yeah, that's very important because most patients, the presentation, which, you know, the classical teaching is uh, chest pain or chest tightness. And most patients really don't present with those symptoms. Uh, just like Jerry was saying, mostly is indigestion, especially in women. And also when you're diabetic, the symptoms can vary very vastly. And once you have those symptoms or anything closer to that, it's really very important to either see your primary care doctor or have you checked out by a cardiologist. And for our practice, we do offer some uh, screening programs or screening tests to help uh, decipher some of the patients that may have underlying coronary artery disease. If you saw parents go through something, technology has changed a lot. We're not always cracking the chest anymore. And so there are things that people can do to get through this. You prefer people to get checked out first, but if they find themselves yes. in a crisis, you all can handle that as well. You're a multi-specialty group, which means yes. you can handle several things uh, all under one roof. We do provide a comprehensive um, management for patients, especially a diabetic patient. Um, we do offer cardiovascular disease management. And first of all, we do do a lot of preventive medicine. Me personally, I lost a family member from uh, complication of hypertension. So when it comes to hypertension, I'm very, very much keen in managing that as well in, uh, in my practice. Uh, not only that, I do just the preventive stuff. I am also an interventional cardiologist. They do invasive procedures. These stents that they put in are just absolutely microscopic. Mm -hmm. And the fact that he was able to put five stents in, Dr. Bangor? Uh, 
Which one of them are they? Yes. They come up through the groin area, all with the heart. You can watch the whole thing on your monitor. Uh, and he's in there with the little wires. And so I'm on, on the table and you're on, under this, like, I guess a, this thing to make you really happy. Conscious and, uh, sedation, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I could feel it. I could really feel it. I was starting like, uh, Dr. Bengura is starting to hurt. He goes, yeah, you're having a heart attack. It's because he's basically stopping the blood flow at that time to put in the stent. But other than that, that little bit of discomfort and what he was able to do to the different vessels in my heart, and these little tiny vessels, is pretty incredible. It is incredible. I have two parents who've been through the same thing. It is incredible. Uh, like I said, you live to tell about it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was in the right place with the right guy, so. Oh, thank you. Well, Jerry had a very aggressive disease, and then um, what we did, what he was trying to say is basically, we when he has his initial events, the heart attack, we stented one of the vessels, and we also know that he had multiple other vessels that need uh, attention to be paid to. So uh, for me, my goal is to do just as good job as the surgeon. It is absolutely amazing what you all can do now. But Good, thank you. Because November is Diabetes Awareness Month, Texas Heart and Vein Multi-Specialty Group is offering free vein and arterial ultrasound screenings when you mentioned you saw Dr. Bangura on Great Day Houston. These screenings are a $250 value, so schedule your appointment right now to get that for free. Call 281-888-0809. That's 281-888. 0809 or visit them online at thvmg.com.